time starts now. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I, I don't know if my camera is working, if you can see me, but um, it's good to uh, it's good to be here. Uh, I appreciate your time and I appreciate your attention. Um, One second, please, Howard. Ms. Dr. Okay. Nelson needs to remove her presentation from the screen or... Oh, yes. Okay. Um, first of all, I apologize. My wife is not able to be on the call. Uh, she had thought that she would be able to make it and, and may still, but uh, she's not here now. But I'd, uh, I'd like to uh, just tell you, I don't have a formal presentation, but uh, I'd just like to tell you about how we became involved. Um, it was very, very interesting that uh, <laughs> part of the presentation was a copy uh, of a check that uh, that she had written to the uh, neighborhood of, uh, association, uh, which was uh, which is very very true. It's uh, it, and it was uh, very sincere and straight from the heart. Initially, the uh, I will tell you that uh, she and we were uh, underwhelmed with the uh, initial presentation that was made uh, on behalf of Maine and Memphis. Uh, what we were told basically is that there would be a um, a plant that would uh, would be on the Gray's property that would be producing and manufacturing um, uh, low end collectibles and and whatnot uh, and uh, with minimum wage jobs. So um, that was not something that uh, was appealing. And uh, she was like I said uh, with the presentation, she was not. Um, positively predisposed toward that, so uh, um, that was the, the position. We were contacted by uh, Joel Weinshanker uh, to ask to uh, to really uh, look and consult on the project. Um, that was something that we talked to him about and that was something that we declined to do, uh, declined to be hired as a consultant to do that. Why? Because we're 35 plus year residents of this community. What happens there affects our property um, values as well. And uh, we will not do anything um, in terms of uh, receiving a remuneration uh, for uh, vetting something that's good for our community. So we refuse to be hired. But what we agreed to do um, is to uh, do some vetting and do some due diligence and, and um, as Dr. Nelson said, do some research re regarding uh, the, the, the plan and the deal. Uh, and that's what we have done. The, um, as she said, it is, two point, it is ten, a little over 10 acres, 10.2 uh, acres at the Graves property. And um, currently there is, a, um, there is a sale pending uh, the rezoning with, the, uh, with SCS. Shelby County Schools, and indeed, two hundred thousand dollars was the uh, was the amount that uh, SCS agreed to sell to uh, to Weinstanker for. Um, and again, that is pending the uh, that sale is pending the um, the uh, rezoning. Um, what we did is we did some background in terms of um, his situation. He has a light manufacturing company. Um, that exists in Hillside, New Jersey, and it is in a residential district. And uh, we did some checking on that to see the impact on the neighbors, the neighborhood, and the property values. And uh, what we were, were able to find is that the, the neighbors were happy to have it there, uh, and that uh, some of the people who were employed there actually walked to work, and uh, we checked on the home values as well. And uh, they were not, uh, didn't seem to be adversely affected. Uh, the home values, just FYI, uh, uh, for a home that was uh, sold just block, well, just uh, doors uh, from the facility, was a little over three hundred five thousand dollars in November of uh, of uh, two thousand nineteen. Um, 
this was a house that had been previously sold for like less than 200 uh, about seven, eight months earlier. But we basically what we have done is this. What we have, we have um, talked to him to see what the situation is and we have uh, followed up and, and vetted the, uh, that with uh, others. The training aspect we believe is very, very important because um, and there is a um, there is a letter from um, South well, Southwest Tennessee, uh, as well as uh, conversations that uh, will be have had with the uh, Whitehaven High School and, and so forth. The uh, median income for the jobs there will be fifty thousand dollars. The uh, starting income will be about thirty four, thirty three, or thirty four thousand dollars. One minute. Uh, Okay, thank you. Um, we believe that going forward, well, first of all, um, Shelby County Schools, this is one of about 25 properties that Shelby County Schools has. Um, uh, school properties do not just fly off the shelf in terms of that. Um, and they are, they are basically hard to get rid of. So what we're looking at is this. What we're looking at is under the current, uh, no means no rezoning, and it will mean things that, uh, that it will mean the property will continue as it is. If that is what the community wants, then we say fine. But w what we have done, as I said, is to look at it going forward in terms of the uh, future opportunity of that p uh, particular piece of property with regard to job development, training the training is critical because they are training will be training on what's called machine learning and that's artificial intelligence as you have heard of. so um, okay we in no uh, let me just say this we in no way are uh, speaking to uh, the character or whatever of, uh, of Joel Weinshanker from the standpoint of the deal that we have vetted, uh, we do not see it as something that it would be uh, would be bad for the community. And Thank you. respect our property values, um, we would um, we would recommend that. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. So uh, the purpose of my bringing this information to the to the uh, association is because, for full disclosure, earlier this spring, I. I I uh, walked around and I put notices in everybody's mailbox asking them for comments about this situation. The comments I got said that we were opposed to this uh, uh, school, the, re the, the re uh, doing of the school, and I took that position on behalf of the organization. Now that we've got some, um, some members who are um, in favor of this, I want to revisit this issue to see if that is still the position of the organization. I need to know what position officially, once again, whether whether I stake my position of opposition or whether we want to revisit this issue. And I need to, I need to know ASAP. So I need to get a consensus from, from the organization today about where we stand on this. Are there any questions regarding the, the, um, the use of this school? Who, who actually owns that building right now? <coughs> the school system. The, the, the contract they have on the school is pending um, uh, the wine shanker's ability to get this um, um, factory up and going. Let me ask Dr. Nelson whether there's been any conversation with the people who are trying to build this about what, if, if they go forward with it, what they can do to minimize the dangers and to covenant that they are not going to do certain things. I, I know we've been involved in situations with The meeting ended after the 45 minute mark because it was conducted with a free Zoom account and free Zoom accounts of three or more people are limited to 45 minutes. Thanks for listening. <laughs>